right. And that inspired me in the word of knowledge that I walk in today as well. I'm so thankful for his life and his legacy and his father's legacy. And so uh, without any further ado, I really want to bring on Richard Roberts in just a moment and introduce this great man of God, which y'all already know him. I love him so much. I love his father. And God spoke to me, says, have him at this crusade. And I was so happy to have him come. So let's bring him on right now. Is, is Richard Roberts on? There he is. Hello. <laughs> Oh Hello, my David. God! Oh, you are a spitting image of your father. You look exactly like him. <laughs> well, Jesus, Jesus said, "If you have seen me, you've seen the Father." <laughs> <laughs> That's a powerful one. That's good. How are you doing today? Good. We are to so all happy. Of you I, watching online. Yes, I, I told everyone last night. Millions last night are anticipating you. You know, I told them last night that you would be in the morning. And of course, a lot of them work in the daytime and all of those things. But I know they're going to relook at this broadcast. And as I said to you by text, I said, I can't wait to get a chance to see you again at night. We want to have you at a night service where you could just flow how God leads you and minister to the mess. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a joy and an honor to be with you today and a special greeting to all those of you that are watching online today get yourself prepared for what god is going to do in your life today and brother david whenever you're ready just turn me loose <laughs> yes sir right before i turn you loose what do you think about this face to face uh because i know you and your your father had a visitation from jesus i'm sure you've had one too but what do you think about this great movement that God is doing now all around the world that I, I, I humbly happen to be a part of this. And as I said, that testimony you just heard of the little girl, five years old, Richard, five years old, Jesus I appears to her. Testimony. Uh, what's yes. amazing to me is the fact that you're doing it online. You know, this pandemic that we have been in around the world has been terrible. But one thing that has come out of it that has been good is it has caused us in the ministry to wake up and take advantage of the technology that is available today to go throughout our own nation and around the world. Now, I know what it's like to be shut in like you were shut in. But while I was shut in during that time over this past year, year and a half, I have uh, preached virtually all over the world through Zoom and through Skype and other media in Central America, in Europe, in Asia, uh, in the in in Africa, I've preached all over the world without leaving my. I'm in my little office this morning in my home, and and it's a wonderful thing. And I thank God for this opportunity and for what you're doing around the world through this virtual crusade. Yes, sir. Well, you know, I had no other choice because the Lord told me to stay in here. You know, and just, you know, and I, I was like, God, how can I do this, you know, for, for this many sure. years and not be in contact? And lo and behold, like you said, this technology that he has given us today is so phenomenal. Without further ado, I want you to just let loose and let God use you. I Listen, I'm like a son to your generation and I love <laughs> you like a father, like I loved your father. And I'm just so thankful for you. And I appreciate, you know, I just believe in the in the church. We don't honor each other enough. The Lord well, talks about how important honor is. Honor, you know, a lot of people don't honor the elders. They don't honor the fathers. And the Bible says, honor your father and mother in the Lord, not just natural parents, people who are spiritual, who have gone on before you and who are fathers and pioneers. And I want you to know how much, Richard Roberts, I love you. I honor you as Thank a you. father in this generation. Thank you so much.